Monday winter in its full glory as you can see my car is absolutely freezed ice is almost everywhere yeah here is some good stuff let's warm everything up hell yeah petrol it's one of the pros of not owning uh, a diesel engine definitely as you could see as, as you can see it's freezing cold outside i'm going to the studio i have lots of boring stuff to do today uh, like cutting the videos for instagram preparing all these social medias scheduling that kind of things but now let's talk about some interesting and important things and as always a quick reminder if you want to get any of my beats uh, if you need mixing and mastering or if you want an online uh, lesson with me so i can teach you something useful as far as the music is concerned uh, please check out my offer on my website the link is down below it's freezing cold Hell yeah, the atmosphere here is just gorgeous, sun is shining. It's a little bit too warm, I, I have to adjust the radiator. Safety is number one priority. Wait, I will be vlogging, so I have to keep the beanie on. That's right. You know, let's be not so professional today. I'm recording with a front camera in my phone, I'm not using the microphone that I'm usually using right here. Recently, I got a comment. I don't remember the exact comment, here is the comment, but it was like, how to be a music producer and a multi-instrumentalist. You know, that, that's simple. Just take multiple instruments, you know, because it's multi-instrumentalist, try to play something and then just make a beat. Here is, here is the beat making thing. And yeah, I can make beats now. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't want to break any of those guitars. Okay, but seriously, I feel like there is no real answer to that question. My story is that I was a guitar player, then I started playing bass, then I started playing drums, and you know, I was making lots of rock and metal music. And as you may already know from one of my previous videos about uh, from a metalhead to a beat maker, I just started working with rappers. And as I was interested in sound engineering and you know, making music overall, music production, uh, I just thought, hey, that's, that's a nice idea to become a music producer. This may sound crazy, but at the very beginning, I didn't really uh, like the idea of playing something, like uh, combining my musical abilities, my uh, instruments and beats. I don't really know why, but I thought like, beats have to be made 100% inside of your computer, uh, with VSTs, with synthesizers, and you don't really combine real instruments. It sounds stupid, doesn't it? So all of my beats from the past were uh, made using only VSTs, only the side of uh, my PC. Okay, but back to the question. Uh, I think that the most simple way to become a multi-instrumentalist and a beat maker is to make your own samples. Try to make some loops, just simple loops you know we have dozens of loops on cymatics you we have dozens of loop packs sample packs by the way i've dropped the awesome guitar sample pack where i recorded 28 samples uh, on my guitars in different styles so you can check it out it's discounted now so we can use the 33 percent discount and i was using the samples in the past to make the beats i was even using guitar samples from various sites but I've always felt like I can't record my own samples because I don't really know. I've always felt anxious that people will judge my guitar playing and stuff, but most of them doesn't really know that those, those are my own guitar samples. So I've came a long way to combining my guitar playing and other instruments uh, with beat making skills. I've always treated it as a two separate worlds uh, in, my, in my musical career. And honestly, that was a really a big mistake, in my opinion. If you can play any instruments, guys, just use those skills. Use your ability to play an actual instrument. I will tell you something. Other people that are making beats uh, are looking for different VSTs that can sound like a real guitar. But if you owe a real guitar, if you can play it, if you can play some simple chords, anything, 
just try to record it, try to make some loops and try to make some beats. It will sound much better than any VST um, you can think of. And you know why? Because it's real. It's your hands playing this thing. And you can always come up with your own style, own articulation. In that way, those samples will sound exactly like you. So what I want you to learn that there is no border uh, as far as combining sounds is concerned. If you want to make a trap beat with guitars, go ahead and do it. What do you think uh, little peep beats are? Guitars with trap beat. If you want to combine heavy metal guitars with trap or rap beats or anything like that, go ahead and do it. Just that simple. If you like classical music, like maybe some choirs and that kind of stuff, and you want to make rap beats with that kind of vibes, just try it because otherwise you won't know how it sounds like. And even if it sounds like trash, do it a few more times. Do a few trials and errors and I think and I feel that you will come up with your desired sound. And for most of the times I feel like this is the main issue. People don't experiment. They fear to experiment because they they don't know they don't know what the reaction of of the audience of the other people musicians rappers would be. There's always a niche, there's always some people that will like it and admire those people and thank you for all of you who like my beats which aren't that typical but it was probably Curtis King who said that. There's always a niche for your craft, you just have to find it. It sounds really simple but it's not. For example after one and a half year I still haven't found my niche. I mean I know what I'm doing and I know my style but I still haven't found enough rappers uh, who would buy that kind of beat. So I think that was enough. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. As always, uh, all your support is highly appreciated. Sorry for this video being a little bit different quality without the usual setup, lights and everything. I just have to do some things today as I've mentioned at the beginning of the video and I don't have time. And I just wanted to record it real quick. See you in the next videos. My name is Dominic, you've been watching Photo Beats and keep the good vibes alive.